Hello to you all wonderful viewers and welcome back to the Sims Queenie's little YouTube channel and the alphabet build challenge. And this is living in a sea. So bedroom, bathroom, study, living room, kitchen and bedroom. This house is for tw uh, two sisters, not twin sisters, just two sisters, young adults that decided to live together in this quirky little house. So we are putting up doors to both the bedrooms and the bathroom and just arch ways through the rest. And this was a bit tricky because I recorded me decorating like more than half of the house or at least I thought so because when you play on a console you have to really like click to record start new recording and I ac accidentally clicked take a screenshot and thought that I was recording then when I was supposed to turn it off and go have a cup of tea I saw that I had not been recording anything. So I went back in, deleted everything and started all over again. So I have just now been placing down two beds and now I am in the kitchen. I am using this beautiful fridge from the Growing Together expansion pack, the beautiful stove from Snowy Escape. And I think that those counters are from decorate your dream home, dream home decorator. This is just a normal base game uh, table. And those beautiful chairs are those from high school years. I might be mistaken. And now we need to put BB move object on. And I need to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing on the TV while I do the voiceover. And this little cute you see that my game is not letting me move around, so I had to turn it off, uh, save, turn it off, and go back in again, and then it worked. And here is a shower from Jungle Adventure, and a sink from a spa day, and this toilet is from this, I don't know, workout stuff pack kit, I don't know the name of it. It has the climbing wall and lots of stuff for exercising. Mirror and toilet paper. And I want some color. Let's see. Oh, I'll do the walls and the floors later on. It's just that I just scrapped everything and started all over again. So I'm just placing furniture where I remember me placing furniture before because I like the layout. So here we have two desks next to each other and both sisters can sit there and chat with their friends or play games or work or just write something on social media perhaps i don't know and now i'm looking for this couch from what is it called industrial loft kit i think i really do like this couch it's beautiful and that swatch is gorgeous and with that color of the couch, I just thought of these bookshelves from Get Famous that you can like never use. They don't match anything unless you build a mansion and that's not my style. But look at the sidings. It's the same color as the couch. So I just have to use them. They are way over the top, I know. But sometimes you just gotta have some fun and now I am placing down some windows from uh, Strangerville and I need some natural light in this house and I need to change the swatch on that door off cam uh, I will do a small garden in the other letters like in A and B I did not care about the outside at all and I do not actually care much for the outside 
this time either because that's not the challenge but inside the curve in C I just needed to make a small garden and so it's not I don't have terrain paint or anything it's just like a grill and somewhere to sit and somewhere to plant stuff but now let's put up some robes a gray and a pink one and we need some towels when you step out of the shower it would have been nice with a second bathroom but this is what they got so it'll be fine and some nice flooring from eco lifestyle I like that it's a bit gray and light and it's a shimmer to it it's it looks good and some blue wallpaper and a TV on the wall facing the couch of course and we need maybe some paintings and I know that I pick my favorite cluster of paintings from the paranormal pack and what is the other one is from like the core to the max I think yes this is my favorite one from paranormal and this is from the core to the max and they are both splendid they are so pretty but I'll be forced to take away the one from paranormal pack because I forgot that I needed a door a back door out in the garden and I don't know if I record that or if I don't because I didn't want uh, this episode uh, or this letter to be in two episodes like uh, the B because I am not sure yet if I am going to record every single letter of the alphabet and if I do I will do the English alphabet and not the Swedish one because in the Swedish alphabet we have OA och Ö, uh, letters that doesn't exist in the English alphabet and those will be hard to decorate really hard and this coffee table is from journey to a two I hardly ever use anything from that pack but this time I liked it and I put down some a small uh, owl statue from that basement treasure kit and my favorite curtains of all curtains from the paranormal pack with beads and pattern and beautiful strong colors yes I adore these and this bookshelf I think is from the high school pack or am I mistaken mistaken no it's from the high school pack it must be and now I am looking for that cork board um, but I give up so I just write corkboard instead to see that'll be quicker hmm? and there it is let's see can I put up some more paintings maybe here in the kitchen and I need a tea brewer as well oh of course my cookbooks I can't do a build without my cookbooks and you see me now I move the counter out because if I don't the cookbooks will only clip to that one let's see tea that is good today I will actually try to drink some coffee with my breakfast normally I don't like coffee at all but I have a tremendous headache so maybe it can help oh a clock as well and this is beautiful it's blue and it's from Strangerville and in gameplay it moves it's so cute and some posters and those come in different uh, colors I like them and now some more curtains these curtains are from the newest expansion pack growing together first time I saw them was in this beige uh, swatch and they were so small that I for one second thought they were like dish towels or something and a small table under the window that is packed with flowers 
Maybe that's where you can like drop your phone and your keys and the letters or something when you move in to take off your shoes and hang up your jackets. I have a counter like that in my hallway just next to the door, but not like that made of glass and with plants and stuff, but a huge white one with multiple drawers and for, you know, for mittens and scarves and shoes that is out of seasons and, you know, with a family with kids, you need stuff. You need places to put stuff. And now I need some more curtains, but in this room they will not be blue. I'll change the color as soon as I have placed them all in the correct spot. Because this room is more pinkish, purple, whitish, I think. And I think I'll go for the white curtains in this room. I love the beading. It reminds me of something from my childhood. When I was, I don't know, maybe five or six, uh, I had those beads on tons of strings hanging in my door. You know, so you kept the door open and you could just, to get into my room, I have to pass all those beads. And I could just do that over and over and over again because I liked the way it felt. I'm a bit weird. And I remember they were like sparkling pink, purple, and silver. Little hearts and little flowers. And yeah. Now I have put up those blue curtains in this bedroom and they actually do fit. Blue will be perfect. And this yellowy, beigey wallpaper. A nice table. Or like it's a, almost like a wardrobe, but I don't know which one to pick. This yellow one is cute. It's also from decor to the max. But I want to do something different. I want to turn it into a bookshelf. Size it down perhaps and like put it in side this yellow beautiful. See if I size it down it looks better, but it's peeking out from underneath. I don't like that. Maybe I can raise them up a bit. And that will make it look better. Then put them together. Yeah, why not? That's kind of cute. And we need a wardrobe and a mirror. And then there is not very much room for anything else. Because these bedrooms are super tiny. And let's pick a cute, no, that's too big. Let's pick a cute mirror. Can I change? Oh no, there was no swatches on these, this mirror. So let's pick another one. Well, this is simple enough. It looks cute. And it was goldish, yellowish. It's good for this room. Maybe something else. Maybe a cute small table under the window. We can put some, maybe a little lamp or a plant or something on it. Let's see if we can find something that's kind of cute. Yes, this is cute. Plant and light. Mm -hmm. It's coming together fine, I think. But did I make the curtains yellow? Did I change the swatch of those curtains or didn't I? Hmm. I don't remember. And let's see. Oh, we're going into the next bedroom. Maybe I should change the location of the bed. No, I don't want to change the location of the bed. I want a small end table. And I think that's from Eco Lifestyle. There's a bit pink in that and brown on the legs like on the bed the headboard of the bed and this beautiful little candle. 
it's cute I think and this old picture from uh, cottage living suits this room fine now let's find a rug let's see if we can use this normally I size that rug up but this time it's perfect the way it is we need a little mirror and a dresser which one should we pick oh this is cute from the high school pack but maybe the sim cannot reach it then that's even bigger you silly which one to pick oh maybe this oh it fits perfectly that was good now let's put a chair in that's a cute pink chair as well and some plants we need some plants in here oh a bookshelf of course this old one from base game you know why not it actually fits at least I think it does and some plants I think we need something on the walls hmm? those are cute yeah why not it's coming together folks and some paintings on this wall as well I want something green hmm yes those those are beautiful from tiny living well that was pretty much it for this build a few more pots and plants and then we are moving into some screenshots so I want to thank you so much for watching me building living in the sea so now take care until I see you the next time bye